Hi guys, uh, welcome to Raising Vibrations uh, with myself, Simon. Um, today guys, what I'm going to be sharing with you is the Neptune Through the Houses uh, series. And uh, what we're going to be discussing today is Neptune Through the Sixth House, okay? Now, um, what I would like to suggest before you go ahead and listen to this um, sort of short introduction of Neptune Through the House, Through the Sixth House, um, is go and check out the first video called Neptune Introduction. And this is really important because by understanding the nature of how Neptune functions within our consciousness and, and in the birth chart itself, we can then be able to understand more, it more deeply in the house placement that it's at. So I highly recommend that you watch the introduction uh, video first so that you are able to interact with the um, house placement and understand the nature of why it is that Neptune would manifest the way that it does. In your astrology chart okay and then the second thing is is that again when you're looking at neptune in the chart you have to remember that there are these repeating themes and the totality of all of these repeating themes will give you a very clear indication of what neptune means in your chart so it simply doesn't work if you just put neptune in the sixth and go this is how it is you have to look at the placement or the, the sign that is ruling your 12th house and you have to look at where Pisces is on the chart. So for instance, if you have Pisces in the third house and you have Gemini on the, the 12th house and you have Neptune in the sixth, then you need to integrate the, all of those, those placements over there. So it's about communication, obviously the case, and then you've got to look to Mercury because Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, right? So the ruler of your, um, of your 12th house is what you've got to be specifically looking at. And you'll actually see the uh, repeating themes as it were. So it's very important to make sure that you know the ruler of the 12th house, where Pisces is on your chart, and of course the placement of Neptune in your chart. Okay, very important. Um, to simply emphasize this, uh, I could say that using my example, uh, we have Neptune in the sixth, we have Pisces ruling the third house, and we have the ruler of the, the 12th house is Mercury, right? Because it was Gemini. And so let's put German, let's put Mercury in the 10th. So what we're looking at here is the third house, the 10th house, and the sixth house, actually. And that's how we will get the true understanding of what it means for you, Neptune, okay, in your chart, all right? Where you will projecting, will be projecting the ultimate meaning into your life and how you'll be becoming aware of who you are through these dynamics, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, for any of you guys that are looking to understand more about astrology itself, um, I highly recommend checking out the 12 sign playlist that I made that talks about all the archetypes, in other words, all the signs itself. And then also watch Pluto through the houses as well, because all of that together is all the information that I've created for you guys to understand the nature of how astrology is working from a spiritual perspective and also how it can actually benefit you versus just, you know, knowing your, your placement of the Pluto uh, and Neptune as well. So I hope that makes sense. So the description, I'll have those links to those playlists. Okay, so go watch them out if you want to know more about the astrology signs. All right, so Pluto in the, uh, sorry, Neptune in the sixth house, again, just to recap, is that um, Neptune is where we project the ultimate meaning into our reality. And what we do through that experience is, is that we create illusions of what reality really is versus what we are making us see. It's kind of the veils over our consciousness. And the veils in themselves aren't really that negative. It's just that when we connect to Neptune, Neptune symbolizes the totality of creation itself and life itself and the God purpose. In other words, the actual beauty, the harmony, the love. And so what happens is, is that we project this innocence into that house, into that world, and we get disillusioned because in a sense, you know, there isn't really that innocence uh, happening uh, in that place, okay? So with Neptune in the sixth, we're looking at the sixth house, which is the archetype of Virgo. And this is again, where we are looking at self-improvement. We are looking at being able to, to transition from the, the child to the adult through self-improvement, through competence, okay? And it also rules the, the routines of our lives. And this is simply because it's a step-by-step -step process that is linked with the sixth house in Virgo. So when, and then through that experience, it also then links with the service of humanity. So what we're doing is we're flipping the ego from us being on the top to us being on the bottom. So we're of service to other people. That's how we are able to connect to other people and say, oh, there's other people out there in the world. 
So with Neptune's placement, we project this innocence into the service that we are doing for people. We create the idea where we can become, uh, in a sense, masochists, where we devote our entire lives towards working for a greater goal and working for service and being of service to people. Yet at the same time, we might not necessarily um, ask for anything in return. And we could actually become slaves to people in that way and not recognize that the service that you're doing in itself is of towards people, but you can be taken advantage of that. Okay. So you project that ultimate meaning, that spiritual essence into being of service and devoting yourself to humanity and to purifying the world as it were and to heal. And what's really happening subconsciously is, is that because the soul from the point of view of Virgo needs to diffuse its ego. And so the way that it does is, is it it's Im implies that there is a sense of lack. There is a sense of, um, uh, again, that sense of lack and there needs to be purification. And so what happens is, is that Neptune in the sixth house will reflect how you are trying to purify your ego relative to past life memories of this being the case. So this is not even from this lifetime that you are essentially trying to purge and purify the ego. And so how it manifests in this reality, this physical form is through being, being of service to people to the point where you are actually not even recognizing your own self and devoting yourself, which then becomes that form of masochist type of behavior. Now, one of the things that also is linked with the nature of Neptune in the sixth is, is that because it rules the health in that sense, you guys can be plagued with a lot of uh, random illnesses that for some random reason cannot be figured out and fathomed out by medicine or by anybody, any holistic type of healing. It just seems to not actually make any sense. There's this kind of vagueness to this, these illnesses. And essentially what's happening here from a metaphysical point of view is that the, the soul itself is essentially purging itself of all the things that it has manifested. And so again, this purification and purging process of Neptune moving through the sixth house and cleaning the ego is manifesting. And so this comes up as illnesses of these random chronic pains, etc. And it's very much tied to the sixth house uh, Neptune placement as well. So what I would like to share with you guys from the point of view of Neptune in the sixth in terms of how you're doing this is just recognize that the way that you're inwardly reflecting and coming back to yourself. In other words, that's what Neptune implies. Remember, Neptune is God consciousness. So when you when you link yourself to God consciousness and you recognize that that's who you are, then you are through the sixth house, through duty, through service, through purification, becoming more closely aligned with the nature of why you would have this placement in itself. And it becomes more aware of who you are. Does that make sense? So it is about purification it is about purging. It is about devoting yourself to the nature of creation and giving back in a sense. And that does mean at the same time being of service without asking anything in return. Okay. All right, guys. Fantastic. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that it gave you a lot of insight into the understanding. Of course, this is what this is intended for. Um, what I would suggest is uh, checking out your Pluto placement as well. And in the description is the links to that playlist as well. And like I said, all the other archetypes to make a little bit more sense. All right. Okay, guys. Well, um, I just wanted to just quickly suggest to you, uh, if you are interested in having a reading with myself and understanding the nature of your inner soul more intensely than what I've mentioned to you right now, then uh, come over to simonforster.com. There's the links uh, right on the left hand side over there, part of me right. And um, check me out on my page, uh, book a reading with myself. Um, and also if you're interested in actually learning astrology itself, I do do an online astrology course where I teach you basically the fundamental uh, necessity to actually look at a birth chart and understand karma, understand the nature of desire, understand how to look at it and how to put everything together. And then of course we can have tutoring sessions after that as well. All right. Okay, guys, fantastic. Well, please be sure to share this type of stuff. Hit the like and subscribe button. And until then, have a great day. Bye.